LNG. The dark horse of summer has found their stride. One by one, they toppled top tier competitors throughout the regular split. And now, in the summer split playoffs, they are stampeding their way forward, trampling over the likes of Sooning and Top Esports. The road ahead is full of hurdles for the kings of spring lie in wait, but that will not stop the roaring rampage that is LNG. Oh, TP behind the team of LNG, though, launching, looking to make an impact in this game. I want to be pulled out by the face called Knockouts across the team. Ale TP and Inch onto the back line. Yeah, going to be knocked off. Sandy There's down. the shots in from Icon, but launching gets onto it with the back line. Xiao Peng is huge. Launching is huge, but not huge enough. Ale saves the day, gets onto launching. That's three kills for LNG and a potential barren opportunity. When the pressure is on and the spotlights are brightest, it is Ale who takes center stage. With all of the growth and development, Ale truly is a stable point for LNG to play off of. And when Ale is on the hunt, no flank is safe. He will decimate your back line. Upwatch is no longer available. Now we might see another engage coming into the top side. The Ornhorn has been used. It's over the tier oh, two. Oh, and they're on the back side. The person I said could not die is dead. And now JDG have no damage. They have no way of winning this fight. LNG are going to mop the floor with them. It's going to be so, so easy. You can see 1v2 and Ale knows he's got the GA. He knows he's safe with the rest of his team coming in. RNG may have stumbled early in the summer season after taking the MSI crown, but they made sure to assert their dominance as the split went on. Taking consecutive wins to remind everyone who was crowned king in spring, they will stop at nothing to defend their title, especially not the dark horse of LNG. Zombie goes in on the backside. It's a bit of a fight again on split on two fronts. Equaliner's hit absolutely nothing. As we can see now, Brian goes down, but he's a glorified tank. This is all down onto RNG and FBX. If Akaris can survive, LWX will fall into his GA. You can see the Kiting coming out the Immortal Shield. Oh, not enough, but Xiaohu, is he enough? Is he able to do something? It's Wei and Xiaohu versus Chris Mazzoubi, but it's gonna be Wei and Xiaohu that come out on top. RNG get the fight they wanted. They get all the kills, and they might look to try and end the game. The transition of Xiaohu to top lane prominence has been one of dominance. He has bested the best and come out on top time and time again. Even in the darkest moments, RNG can always rely on Xiaohu to save the day. Deep Lucas is. This support coming through, the Shy on the back end. Wick's not showing yet here. He now comes out right into the Viego. Um, Wick, a little bit suspicious. Will he die? No. Shao who gets the reset again. The Shy jumps on in. He gets a heartbreaker. And Viego again! Oh my god, he almost survived. Another busted champion right in front of our faces. LNG have charged through the playoffs, taking down two strong opponents back to back and are looking to push that momentum forward. And RNG, after an incredible end to the regular split, will finally make their first appearance into the LPL postseason. These mighty titans clash with worlds on the line who will book their ticket in our match of the week.